Hello, my name is Dalia and I am an occupational therapy student at Samuel Merritt University. Today, I'd like to share some important information about understanding your blood pressure reading and learning how to take your blood pressure at home using an electronic monitor. For the only way to know if you have high blood pressure or hypertension is to take your blood pressure. First, we're gonna focus on understanding your blood pressure reading. It is important to know the healthy and unhealthy blood pressure ranges as recommended by the American Heart Association and your healthcare provider shown here on the screen. Now we'll be learning how to self-monitor your blood pressure at home by learning how to take your blood pressure with an electronic monitor like this one. The first step will be to gather all your materials. Make sure you have your blood pressure machine, a log sheet, a pen or pencil, and find a place where you wanna take your blood pressure. Second, we wanna prepare our bodies to get the most accurate reading. Do not smoke, drink caffeinated drinks, eat, or exercise 30 minutes before taking your reading. Next, we wanna make sure our bodies are properly positioned. Do not cross your legs, Sit with both feet flat on the floor with your back supported by a chair and rest your arm on a table or flat surface with your palm facing up. Also, it is best to rest and relax your body for at least five minutes before taking your reading. We will now apply and position the blood pressure cuff. Put the blood pressure cuff directly on your bare arm and not over clothing about half an inch above your elbow line. Make sure the air tube is coming out of the bottom of the cuff and that it is not tangled. Now we are all set up and ready to take our blood pressure. Make sure you have relaxed for five minutes and when you are ready, press the start button on your machine. Do not talk, move, or cross your legs when taking your reading. It helps to take deep breaths throughout the reading. Now we have our first blood pressure reading and we will record it in our measurement log. Write down the date and time of the blood pressure reading on your log sheet. It is best to take two to three readings on the same arm with about one minute between each reading. Some tips to be mindful of are to measure your blood pressure at the same time every day. Your blood pressure can fluctuate throughout the day, so it is important to take your readings around the same time each day to give yourself an accurate comparison. It is also important to know that a single high blood pressure reading does not mean you have hypertension, but it can be an early sign to follow up with your healthcare provided. Be sure to discuss your readings with your healthcare provider and visit the American Heart Association website for more information.